Good afternoon and welcome to St. Eugene School News. This is Morgan Gallagher reporting. Today is Friday, September 29th. The news team has stories to share about events and activities from this week, as well as to inform you about next week's schedule. Here is our top story. The Parish Carnival is this week. You can still come out tonight, 6 to 10, or tomorrow, 4 to 10, for lots of rides and games for kids of all ages. You'll also find tons of food, including Chick-fil-A, hot dogs, burgers, pizza, and lots of desserts. The carnival is open for anybody to come and enjoy a good time. And now here is Taylor Hunyet. This is Taylor Hunyet reporting. The student council is working on upcoming events for Halloween. They started a bulletin board outside of the computer room, and it looks great so far. Look for information about Halloween to be posted. This is the first time in many years that we are going to be in school for Halloween. So the student council will be coming up with some exciting events to fill the day with fun. And now here is Grace McLean. This is Grace McLean reporting. On Tuesday, September 26, 2017, Mrs. Christie and Miss Marley were asked how the kindergarten class was doing with the new change of coming to St. Eugene. They said they were doing a great job with following directions and listening. The kindergarten class is currently learning about recognizing numbers and how many there are in a group. In their religion class, they currently have a new series. The class is learning how special they are. Miss Miley told us that they have a superpower in their class the whole kindergarten class knows. Emma McBlain and Sean Thomas were asked what the class's power was, and they answered with the power of yet. It means they can't read yet, they can't spell yet, and they can't do something yet, but soon they will do they will do it all. The kindergarten class celebrates saints in the special Today is the feast day of St. Michael, St. Raphael, and St. Gabriel. St. Michael was a powerful leader. St. Raphael was a healer. Are you okay? And St. Gabriel was a messenger. I got a message for you. I got mail for you. Thank you. Happy feast day. And now here's Jenna McLean. This is Jenna McLean reporting. This week, the third grade is learning about directions. They are learning about cardinal and intermediate directions. They are also in the process of writing a narrative poem. In ELA, they are learning how to summarize by sequencing event events. And now here's Emily Moore. This is Emily Moore reporting. In the seventh grade classroom, students are learning about different types of figurative language. In math, they are learning how to convert metric measurements to customary measurements. In science, they are learning about cell structures of plants, animals, and other organisms. In religion, they are learning about faith. In social studies, they are learning about the early Americans. And now here's Brianna Newmiller. This is Brianna Newmiller reporting. In library class this week, the kindergarten and first grade are learning how to take care of their library books. Third grade is learning how to use the online catalog. Fourth grade is learning about call numbers and how to find different genres of books in the library. Fifth grade is learning how to do citations. And sixth, seventh, and eighth grade are learning and finding out about famous people and the challenges they overcame by doing research online by using their Chromebooks. And now, here's Corinne Nichols McCray. This is Corinne Nichols reporting. In computer class this week, fourth grade through eighth graders had a keyboarding assignment in Google Classroom. They typed in Google Doc and formatted the text learning various ways to present writing projects for other subjects. And now, here's Benjamin Van Barra with sports. This is Benji Van Barrow Sports. For volleyball, the JV and Varsity girls have a game today at 5.30 and 6.30 p.m. at Holy Cross. So good luck to Fonta Van Barrow, Sarah Kilson, Alexa Kainif, Miley Dubois, Isabella Rusick, Micah Acampado, and Annie Moore on the JV. Good luck to Benji Van Barrow, Cindy Caballero, Kaylee Del Vecchio, Brianna Newmiller, Isabella Peterson, Devin Tamborella, Kaylee Dieros, Corinne Nichols, Emily Moore, Kayla Tubbs, Kayla Doherty, and Nyla Sweeney. And now here is Scott Bernhard with weather. This is Scott Bernhard with your weather. Today we have plenty of sunshine and cooler temperatures. The high is 72. On Saturday, it is possible for some showers, but most of the day it's dry and cool with a high of 69. 
On Sunday, it's mostly sunny, with pleasant high around 71. Have a wonderful weekend. And now, here is Tyler Washington. This is Tyler Washington reporting. Here are some upcoming events. So next week, the first first Friday Mass is on Friday, October 6th at 8 a.m. We also have an early dismissal at 11.30. And now back to Morgan. Here is Ariana Maloney with birthdays. This is Ariana Maloney with birthdays. Happy birthday to Emma McLean and Lucas Brown Kindergarten, Grace Watson and Madison Fluin in first grade, Nova Preet Suwan and Gabriella Zaka in second grade, Aubrey Peterson and Braden Grasco in third grade, Francesca Jaka, Francesca Zaka and Edward Compato in fourth grade, Chinzi Adele in fifth grade, Liam Bond and Taylor Hania in seventh grade, and Carmen Mignotti in eighth grade. And now back to Morgan. This is Morgan Gallagher for the SES News Team. Thanks for watching. See you next time.